Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host, the smoothest fingers in the game industry, bringing you... Is that a zombies gameplay? AZ, you play zombies? I think so. Every now and then, you know, I like to dip and dab in a little bit of other things. And before we get into the video, I just want to say that I told you so. And second off, man, is the zombies good in this game. I know there's a lot of complaints about the zombies community. A lot of other people know more about zombies than I do. It's okay, I understand. But I really like the zombies. Brings me back to War Dead War. Hopefully they add Kino Dare Totem and they add some of my favorite zombie maps like Origins. I know a lot of people get upset about classic gameplay, classic maps. I'm not one of those guys. Really love the zombies in this game. Had a lot of fun with it. Haven't done the Easter eggs yet. Haven't seen it. Found out that it was a little underwhelming for some people. But I don't do Easter eggs that much, don't really care about them. I just like getting to high rounds, having a lot of fun with friends. And I thought that's what zombies should and always will be about. But again, I understand if you're a little bit underwhelmed by what happened with zombies. But moving forward, what are my thoughts? What are my initial impressions about Call of Duty Cold War or Black Ops Call of Duty Cold War or Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War? <laughs> I'm going to make fun of that name all year. Get used to it. But what are my thoughts? And again, I've said this multiple times over the course of the year. This shit was going to be broken. I knew it was going to be broken. Because Sledgehammer was supposed to make the game this year. And guess what ended up happening? Treyarch had to make the game. Yes, Treyarch had to make the game. Midway through development, Treyarch had to take over this game. And the fact that this game is even out and it actually even works just a little bit is mind-boggling to me. Now, I know you guys are going to say, AZ, if you knew it was going to be broken, why are you playing it? I didn't spend money on this game. It ain't my money that went to this game. It's that people who wanted me to see or wanted to see a realism campaign rage got me this game so i want to say thank you to the person who got this game he wanted to be remained unknown or he wants to remain unknown i don't know why i'm botching this today i just i don't really give a fuck today because it's cold war and i told you guys over and over again this game was going to be broken so everybody complaining on twitter everybody complaining on social media and on youtube talking about the game is broken the game is broken it was broken last year modern warfare was just as trash modern warfare is actually worse when it came out than this game and at least this game has a functional mini map and at least the maps are decent and fun to play on so let's just get on into it campaign broken as fuck i'm over here trying to make a campaign rage video or a realism campaign rage video like i did last year with the modern warfare and i can't even make it i can't even play the game the cutscenes, skippy as fuck laggy as fuck stuttery as fuck and no it's not my rig it's not my pc this happened last year on modern warfare the exact same thing it ain't just me. There's a whole bunch of people complaining about it on Reddit. I'm telling you, it's crazy. How do you fuck up campaign, man? How? How do you fuck up campaign and make the same mistake that you made last year? I know it's running on the same engine. I get it. But damn, guys, we want to play that campaign. But when it's working, it is great. I've enjoyed it. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I'm going to let you guys see all my reviews, all my reaction when I put out the campaign video. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully we get a patch or something that fixes this or I can just play through it and something happens where it just fixes itself. But for right now, my plan is to get that video out tomorrow and we'll go through all of that. Now, let's go over to multiplayer because I've already kind of told you what I liked about zombies and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So multiplayer, definitely better than MW, 100%. You can't even debate it. If you think MW is a good COD, uh, first off, you're brain dead. I don't care what you got to tell me. It's your opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. MW is a shit cod. Always will be a shit cod. I don't want to say always will be. It could change. Do I think it's going to change? No, I've held out hope for way too long. I'm over that game, but it's better than MW. The guns feel great. Now, do they feel better than MWs? No, not at all. Wouldn't say that, but again, not asking for it. Treyarch and Modern Warfare or Treyarch and Infinity Ward always make different games. I love both designs in terms of gun aspect design and graphic design. I think this game looks a little bit worse than Modern Warfare, I'm not going to lie to you, but it looks good. I'm not saying that it's a bad looking game or that it looks terrible, and I'm not trying to compare it to Modern Warfare or anything to do with Modern Warfare. It's a completely different game, completely different design. The game doesn't look bad. The guns don't sound bad. They don't sound like pellets or anything. I don't know why people are saying that. Again, I just think people are bitching. It's Call of Duty, guys. It's just Call of Duty. Okay, it's, it's not meant to be some super realistic game. When you guys start asking for stuff like that and you take it away from being an arcade shooter, that's when the game sucks. Point in case, Modern Warfare. Again, for the campaign, I get that. But in multiplayer, who the fuck cares? I just, who the fuck cares? Moving on, let's talk about the number one thing a Call of Duty has to excel in in order for the game to be great, and that is maps. The only map in this game that I consistently hate and that I will not play is Checkmate. Checkmate feels like a Modern Warfare map. It feels like they just took out a bunch of stuff a bunch of parts, threw it together, called it a map. There's no flow to it. There's no rhythm to it. There's nothing going on there. It may be good on SND and stuff. I haven't played SND that much yet, but good goodness. I mean, just goodness that map is trash. But as far as the hate on Miami, 
I don't see it. I don't hate it. I think Miami is just Havana from Black Ops 1, reskinned and just darkened. I mean, I think that's the only thing it is. Just at nighttime, I have no problems with it. I kind of want them to shrink the map just a little bit, but again, I don't have that big of an issue with it. I think people comparing it to Piccadilly are tripping. The radar shows up, people fire on the radar, everything's fine, people run around. I have had no issues with people just sitting in a balcony or just sitting and camping there. Yeah, do they do that? Of course, every map is going to have that. Campers are something that's in Call of Duty, guys. Everybody's bitching about campers this year. Listen, that happens. It's a part of the game. I get it. It's when the game caters to campers, which this game is not doing, and you cannot make that objective case based on that. But all the other maps, even the ones that they struck down, I really do enjoy. I got to say that, man. I really do enjoy these maps. It feels like they really figured out what they did wrong in Black Ops 4 and they improved on it. And I did like some of the Black Ops 4 maps. I think Hacienda is one of the better maps that I've ever played. I really enjoyed Hacienda for competitive and for casual. So I love what they've done with the maps. I don't hate the maps. Again, I think they could be better. But again, we're going to get better maps, hopefully, coming throughout the seasons. We're going to get better things coming throughout the seasons. And I get it. Should they have been there on launch? Yes, but I'm not going to beat a dead horse anymore. It is what it is. Moving on. Let's talk about just the flow and the feel of the game and how I enjoy the game overall, the weapons and all the other stuff. I enjoyed the game. Didn't like Dirty Bomb too much. Still don't like it. The sound sucks in the map. I just, it just sucks. They need to take armor out of that as well. But I get it. Not that big of a deal. I understand it. It's good for sniping. I've had a little bit of fun with it. For everybody bitching about sniping as well, talking about you can't quick scope, you can't quick scope, you can't do it. Guys, did you guys not play Black Ops 1? This is a sequel to Black Ops 1. I knew that the sniping was going to be hard. And personally... I like it when the sniping's more challenging because you just can't run around and get montages easily. It is what it is, man. That's just my opinion. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it. It's your boy Zai Z. As always, bless up. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one.